All right, the mnemonic Soap Brain MD will help you remember the signs and symptoms of systemic lupus erythematosus, known as just lupus. It's also therefore useful in order to help the diagnosis, as we'll see as part of the SLIC criteria. So Soap Brain MD stands for S, serositis, including pleuritis and pericarditis, O for oral ulcers, A for arthritis, which is typically a polyarticular, symmetrical and non-erosive arthritis. Usually this is in the periphery and it's the result of the involvement of the joint capsule, ligaments and tendons. That's why they're called Jacquard arthropathies. P for photosensitivity. B stands for blood and this includes pancytopenia because you can have anemia, thrombocytopenia and leukopenia. R is for renal damage. A is for autoantibodies, specifically the anti-nuclear antibodies. I then is for immunological, which includes the anti-double-stranded DNA antibodies and the anti-SSA or SSB antibodies. N refers to neurological, and this can include central nervous system problems such as psychiatric manifestations, including anxiety and psychosis, and also things like seizures. Well, the peripheral nervous system can also be affected through peripheral neuropathies. M stands for the malar rash, which refers to the butterfly-like rash on the nose and the cheeks. While D stands for discoid rash, which is the ring-like scaly patches that can occur in cutaneous lupus. If you know this mnemonic, then you're nearly there for the slick criteria for the diagnosis of lupus. You need four criteria to be fulfilled with at least one clinical and one immunological criteria. Or you need the presence of lupus nephritis with anti-nuclear antibodies or anti-double-stranded DNA antibodies. So the clinical criteria include acute cutaneous lupus or chronic cutaneous lupus, oral ulcers, non-scarring alopecia, which is a diffuse thinning or hair fragility with visible broken hairs, synovitis, involving two or more joints characterized by swelling or effusion or tenderness in two or more joints and 30 minutes or more of morning stiffness. Next would be serositis, the pleuritis or pericarditis that we mentioned. You can then have renal manifestations, neurological manifestations, hemolytic anemia, leukopenia or thrombocytopenia. The immunological criteria include anti-nuclear antibodies above the laboratory reference range, anti-double-stranded DNA above the laboratory reference range, anti-Smith antibodies, anti-phospholipid antibodies, low complement or a direct Coombs test in the absence of hemolytic anemia.